Hello and welcome to lesson number two, the moves, الدرس رقم اثنان الحركات of the Arabic language, اللغة العربية. Begin by saying السلام عليكم. Anyhow, so uh, the lesson, the first lesson before, we uh, we did the letters. Now we're focusing on uh, something that might be strange to you depending on your language, and it doesn't exist in English. If you see those red things on top of the letters, uh, we call those the moves. And basically, it's the, the, the letter moving. And uh, don't worry, we'll get to that right after this. So I just want you to see this is what they look like. Those are the letters, and the moves are on top. So this is, uh, we're going to go over each letter, the 28 letters. We're going to go over each one of them. And uh, the first one, the one, it's like a line on top. You can see it here in the red. That, that, that's called the open, al-fatha. It's like an opening. And basically, you open your mouth in a sense when you when you say that letter, like a. Ah. This is the letter alif, a, ah. a, ah. a, ah. a, ah. e, u. This one is called the break, and in a sense, it's it's uh, you're going like down, like just focus on the sound. So, a, ah. e. Ooh. It's the same letter, but it sounds, uh, uh, it moves different in your mouth, like and when it comes out. Like the clothes, it's like, ooh. And you'll see with each letter. We're going to do each letter. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. And we have three words down here. Each word has the the different uh, move. So here we have the fatha, the open, and here we have the kasra, down here, and here we have the dhamma. Yes, I didn't say that one. A dhamma, the close. It's like you're 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 getting things together, like uh, you're doing it with your mouth. It's like your mouth is coming closer together. Ooh, can you if you say say it with me like ooh, right? All right, so Bada'a means he started. He started. Bada'a. Can you see how we said that letter? Bada'a. Here is Iman. Iman. Iman means uh, certainty. And uh, some people translate it to faith, like uh, it's the most translated one. But, uh, in my opinion, it's more of certainty, like a belief. Anyhow, the uh, third one is umur. Umur it means uh, matters. Umur. Umur. All right. Well, if you haven't uh, got the gist of it, we have uh, 27 letters to go. And we'll do it with each letter, very slowly. It might take us two videos, but we'll do it. So, Ithnan, Harf al Ba, 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 B, Bu, Ba, B, Bu. Oh, yes, and uh, there's a, a there's this one yeah this one the one uh, this one is called a sukun sukun is uh, like not moving like the opposite of moving like uh, the moves uh, the letter is moving but sukun is when the letter is not moving and you want the reader to not move the letter like you want them to, to not move it, like so you you signify it by putting this. Uh, by the way, a little bit of history before we keep going. Uh, we added those, uh, like before there was no dots. Like the dots didn't exist in the Arabic language, but we added them. And before there was no moves, but we added them when, uh, uh, because of the Quran. Because after uh, 
uh, people that, ha that that weren't familiar with the Adnani Arabic, like the Fusha Arabic, like they either had their own version of Arabic or they spoke another language altogether. When they started reading the Quran, they started pronouncing it different. And when you hear it, you go like, wait, wait, that, you change the meaning by pronouncing it differently. And as you'll find out later in your study of Arabic, that sometimes when you uh, pronounce it differently, you move the letter differently, it means something else. And I have a few examples to show you later in a, uh, with the letters in some other letter. So the, the, the Muslims got together and were like, we have to figure something out. We have to add something to signify. And it, it began with like red dots. If you can see in my page, uh, uh, the, the, the picture I have on top, it has like the, the red dots. And th that's how they started. They started with dots. Like they just put a dot on top, a dot below. But then they uh, introduced the dots to, to differentiate between different letters. Like the, you know, the ba might look like the ya, yeah, might look like the ta. So no, wait, we, we got to dis distinguish them. So they added the dots. And then they came back and like, well, we can't have dots for differentiating letters and dots for uh, differentiating how the letter moves in the word. And, you know, when you open the Quran, like, it, it might look something like this. And, uh, you know, you go like, what is all of that? Like, there's so many, you know, annotations, like, move it here, move it here. To, and the purpose is to pronounce it specifically. If you open a, uh, a normal book, like a, a book about birds, or something uh, you might not see them you might not see the the moves a lot you might see them just a little bit uh, but uh, if you open the Quran they're all over it and it's specifically because they want you to pronounce it the exact same way they pronounce it in a sense so you can get it right and you get the meaning conveyed properly anyhow well uh, so the, the 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 circle on top of the letter is called Sukun uh, sukun is uh, again the opposite of moving uh, in the next video I'll, I'll look up the exact meaning of sukun but uh, what it means is just it's not moving like it's like a you know the rock second like the uh, stationary like it's it's not moving and let's let's hear the sound of it so irkab see it didn't move irkab means a ride as in uh, an order like when you tell someone irkab as sayyara like see irkab as sayyara get on the get in the car so you can ride it like get on uh, it's like you're telling them uh, a little bit of grammar rakib is the rider so, uh, we'll get to it in a, another letter but the differentiation here, uh, as you can see, irkab, irkab, and here it's rakib, and it comes from past tense uh, ra ka ba. Ra -ka -ba. Ra -ka -ba is he rode. Rakib is the rider. And it kept. Anyhow, uh, I'm I'm always getting ahead of myself uh, talking about grammar and things, but I am very sorry. But I um, promise you, like these, you'll see these things in more advanced uh, when we get to the grammar, and you know, it's it's, it's exciting. Anyhow, so just forget about it. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go back to the moves, basic moves. And we have four of them introduced here. Irkab, Qabil, Bilad, Bur. So here's the Dhamma. Bur. Bur is ruined. When you say uh, Bara, like it got ruined. But Bur is ruined. Bilad. Bilad is like land or country. Bilad 
قابل قابل is able and uh, a lot of people suggest that the, it's the same word like uh, like the originally it was قابل and uh, they took it in English and it became able قابل قابل اركب اركب قابل بلاد بور alright if you haven't fully understood the moves we still have many letters to go so we have the جيم ثلاثة number three جيم جا جا جي جو جا جي جو سجد جهاد جرح so سجد is he prostrated and uh, normally it would have more like سجد means he prostrated like we you know when Muslims go to the ground and they when they're praying Sajada Jihad <laughs> I know many of you who uh, watch the media go like oh jihad I don't know it, it's it's not like that one uh, or they, they pronounce it's not like holy war it's actually uh, it just means struggle so uh, juhd is effort yeah so it means like like jihad is like ma to make an effort so if you, if you wake up in uh, you know at dawn that's called jihad because you're making like an effort like you're not uh, just uh, surfing life you're, you're making an effort in life that's jihad from jihad and we'll get to it in the grammars of things so sajada mm -hmm. jihad جرح. and here we have it in uh, uh, when it's not moving when it's stationary يجرح. 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 can you see what we did there يجرح. أو. أو again means or maybe you remember it from previous video أو is or أو. مجروح. مجروح. You can see when, you, when I say the ja, majruh, sajada, jihad, jurh, yajrah, majruh. You can see what we did there? It's not moving here. Anyhow, number four, adal, da, da. D, do. And here, uh, yeah, yeah, when I promised you there's going to be like, it, it looks the same. Like as you can see here, those two words look like this. They both have three letters, da, ya, wanun. But they mean different things because of how the first letter moved. As you can see here. They look the same, but... The differentiation is uh, that line. Just here it's the fatha, the opening, and here is the kasra, the close or the break. No, sorry, the break, yeah, only the break. So, dain, dain, deen, dain, deen, dunya, madrasa, madrasa. Here it's stationary, didn't move. Madrasa Dunya Dain Deen Khamsa Five Ha Oh sorry Ha He Who And we have examples uh, in words of the Fatha Kasra ضمة. and sukun sukun as we said uh, uh, is uh, stationary uh, sukun the word itself like uh, if you see it written uh, sukun uh, sukun 
Sukun uh, also means inactivity. Uh, so if you're describing someone as inactive, you see sakin. Or it could mean lives, like sakin. Uh, sukun is inactivity, calmness. Like when you say uh, al bahru sakin, meaning there's no waves in the sea, right? Al bahr, al bahr, right? Al bahr, bahr is a sea, bahr, sea, as in like you know the one with the water, the, you know the one that has beach, al bahr, sakin, meaning it's not moving, like the waves are not moving in the beach, like it's it's stationary. There's inactivities in the sea. Like there's no storms, nothing. All right, so let's forget about this. Uh, or let's move it. Uh, let's, let's move this. All right. So uh, going back again, I have to keep uh, on track of the purpose of this lesson, which is the moves. Apologize again, but uh, when I learn, usually I like when you know things like little things get added, as long as the main purpose of the lesson is continued and it's finished anyhow so ha ha he who hajar hilal hud hud yeah di yeah di so hajar is uh immigrated uh it also is the name of uh, our uh Great 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 grandmother uh, Agar, I think you call her, the wife of Abraham, Hajar. Uh, he, I think he called her Agar or ha Hager. Hager. Well, we call her Hajar. And uh, in, in Arabic, uh, the meaning is immigrated. Hajar. So you say Hajara Ahmed. So Ahmed immigrated, right? Anyhow, Hilal. Hilal is the, the moon crescent, you know, when the moon is in the crescent shape. Hudhud is a bird, and uh, I think you guys call him Hupu, but uh, I, I, I guess that, you know, it's better to just show an image. So uh, this guy is the Hudhud, Hud, Hud this guy all right so hood hood the bird we just showed yeah d yeah d is he guides number six sitta uh, the letter wow harf al wow wa we wu wa wa we wu Walad, Walad, Widad, Widad, Wujud, Wujud, Mawid, Mawid. Here it's stationary. You can see the letter is really not moving, right? I think you can pay attention. Mawid, 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 Wujud. Wujud, Widad, Widad, Walad, Walad. So Walad means a uh, son. Widad is a, a form of uh, you know feeling like uh, could be like something like uh, ah, Widad. Uh, it is a form of. Uh, Kindness or uh, love, like it, it's one of the forms of love. I think I should do a, a video of the levels of love or the different stages of love and things like that, hopefully in the future. But it, it falls under that category of like feelings and love, a feeling of love between two people, we dad. Uh, wujud is existent, existence, like you know, ana mawjud. I mean, I exist. Ana, I, mo, jud. I exist. 
here the same word the ana mawjud again a little bit of grammar i don't let me know in the comments if you guys like when i go off and you know, give a sentence uh, with a word that we're using uh, i myself like it when people do it when they teach other languages if you do let me know if you, if you think it's distracting also let me know uh, we might make a poll about this the second one is mawid which means appointment uh, i think we pronounced all of them and we gave the meaning so we move to the next letter and if you have trouble with any letter let me know and i can just go back and maybe make like a whole video about just one letter if someone wants you know just let me know za uh za za z zu za z zu zara manzil manzil زهد زهد أزرق أزرق so زرع is he uh, harvest uh, he you know uh, that's what the farmer does uh, you know uh, he planted yeah زرع is planted زرع planted the past منزل منزل is where you live so it could be like your house or uh, it could be where you live, like it's where you live, like menzil, where you live. Zuhd, Zuhd is, uh, you know, what the prophets do, they, they don't spend much, like they don't, they don't in, like enjoy life as much as they can. They, they, you know, it's like, you know, if you know uh, John the Baptist, you know, he was eating plants from the trees and he had uh, like, you know, it's a way of uh, like as the opposite to extravaganza like opposite to going overboard with spending and you know luxury and all these things so the opposite is zuhd right so when you go to a restaurant like you don't order the whole menu you just order something little just for yourself uh you know it's a little bit you know you don't eat much you eat a little bit and it's, it's, that's what you do uh, when we get to meanings and words, I'll I'll be more specific. But for now, we need you to pronounce it and un understand what this thing on top, yeah, that one does, and what that one does. And all right, I gotta keep going. I think we might get to three videos or four because I'm slow. Slow is good. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Zuhd. Azraq. Azraq, Azraq. Can you notice that the letter is not moving like the other? It's like Zara'a, Manzil, Zuhd, Azraq, Azraq, Azraq. Right? See, it's not moving. Next is Harf Al Ha, 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 He, Hu, Ha, He, Hu, Hasada. حصاد حصان حصان حسام حسام أحمر 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 حصاد is he uh, reaped so uh, if we relate it to the word we got before planted so من زرع so whomever men is whomever like whom so whom planted harvests or reaps it's, it's something like you, in English you say you reap what you sow or something in, in Arabic we say whomever planted will reap or harvest hasada so you can harvest many things like we use it the same way in English harvest is used you know so uh, but here it's uh, plants because we just mentioned planting men zara ha sa da ha sa da ha sa da anyhow 
moving to Hisan. Hisan is horse. He, see, he, San. Husam. Husam is a nickname for the sword. And hopefully, if you stay with me until like very advanced letters, we'll get to why and how these things work. But Husam uh, is one of the nicknames of the sword. Ahmar. Or I should say names. Names or nicknames, names. Ahmar. Ahmar is red. Ahmar is red. Red as in the color. Yes, red as in the color. Yeah, because you might confuse it with red. No, no, no. Ahmar is red as in the color. So it's not blue, it's red, right? Ahmar. All right, number nine. Ta. Now this might be strange to you because I know uh, you guys switch it when we have an Arabic name that has uh, the letter Ta. Uh, you guys switch it to T. This is not a T. It's a different letter. Uh, just hear it and try to say it. And uh, God willing, I will make a video where I go into details into pronunciations. But uh, if you just if you can hear it and say it, that would be great. Be like, yeah, I don't need to do that. You know, watch that other lesson. But I will do a lesson. Maybe it will be number. Uh, I'll get back to it. Like a. This is something in my plans to go into details into how to say the letters and where do the letters come from and how you can practice saying strange letters to you like that one ta ta ti tu ta ti tu ta ta ti tu now we're going to say the words. So first we're going to pronounce them and then we'll uh, give the meanings. Taba'a. Taba'a. Tifl. Tifl. Tuyur. Tuyur. Matloob. 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 So taba'a could mean uh, innate nature like that's what God does like uh, he gives you an in innate nature or uh, it could be behavior like you know someone uh, installed a behavior in you and uh, in modern uh, terms uh, in modern language like we we use it for uh, printing so you say taba al kitab meaning he printed the book printed Tifl is a child or kid and we'll get to the specifics in words and this is what it means and why it means this uh, in some other lessons in the future but now Tifl is child or kid Tifl and it's see Tifl Tuyur is birds birds like with an S birds Matlub is wanted Ashara Harf al uh, The letter Ya And uh, let's keep going Ya Ya Yi You Ya Yi You Ya Ya And we have four words here Yawm uh, Yawm Yuhyi Yusaid Ain Ain Yom is day Yuhyi is bring to life or bring alive Yusaid is help as in like a, it's a continuous uh, action like uh, he's helping every day Huwa Yusaid Kulla Yom and we'll see it written here. Hua, what? Sorry. Hua, you said, Kul Yom. He helps every day. He helps every day. Hua, you said, Kul Yom. 
good example. I. Ain. Ain means I. It also means the letter Ain, right? Remember? Uh, but it means I. It also means well. So if you remember uh, one of the meanings, that would be great. Uh, which the most used one is uh, I. So Ain is I. It's one I. Ain. It's I. Eleven. Ehda Ashar. Ehda Ashar. Ehda Ashar. If you remember how we say them. Ehda Ashar. After the 20, we say 1 and 20. But this one is 11. Ehda Ashar. So we say Ehda, which means 1. As it's, it's different than 1. Uh, we'll get to those later. Ehda Ashar. Ka. Ka. Ki. Ku. Ka. Ka. Ki. Ku. We have four words again. Kareem. Kitab. Kub. Usluk. 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 Kareem. Kitab. Kub. Us look. Kareem is generous. Kitab is book or a written manuscript or like something written. And it, it's most commonly used as uh, when someone says kitab, uh, you can guess like 90% or 99% they're saying book. I haven't heard anyone in my lifetime say kitab as in, you know, a written thing. But just so you know, like, uh, you know. Let's just stick with book. Kitab is book. <laughs> Sorry. Kub. Kub is cup. Kub, cup. Now, this sounds similar. Kub. Us, look. Us, look. Us, look is like go in that direction. Like, or go into that, yeah, yeah, go into that direction. Salaka is like he went into that direction in a sense. Meslek is like where you go. All right, moving to 12. Ithna Ashar. Harf al La. La. Li. Lu. And again, we have four words. Laham. Laham. Lisan. Lisan. Luhum, Luhum, Malab, 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 Laham, Laham, Lisan, Luhum, Luhum, Malab. Laham is meat, as in, you know, meat, like this one. Eat this one. So laham is meat. Lisan is tongue. And as we said before, it also like means uh, language. But literally it's tongue. Like if you say lisani, it means my tongue. Luhum is meat. So it's the same as the one before, except this one has an S. And as you can compare them, you can see there is that letter that's the difference. And we'll get to that in the grammar section. Now let's focus on the lu and la. Laham, luhum. Malab is playground. Or it could mean pitch. Like, you know, malab al kura, meaning the pitch of uh, the ball. And when we say the ball, we mean soccer or football, depending on where you live. Anyhow, Malab, we know how to say them. Let's move to number 13. Thalath Ashar, Harf al Meem. Ma, Ma, Mi, Mu, Ma, Mi, Mu. We have four words again. Hey, which one is that? Mauj, 
موج مصباح مصباح جميع جميع مصلى مصلى موج موج is wave مصباح is a lamp like you know the, the one that brings the light مصباح like lamp جميع is all جميع is all مصلى مصلى this one on the top we'll get to in a separate letter on its own and sorry a separate lesson on its own but for now if you're wondering like hey, what is this this is called the uh, shadda uh, literally the drag because it drags the letter with it like when you know musalla see it's like you know imagine this letter sa and that letter alif maqsura or the alif in its this in its weird form at the end which we'll get to and it, it kind of needs its own uh, lesson but for now it's like just an alif that is broken <laughs> they're kind of fighting over the lamb in the middle if you, if you hear me say it musalla musalla see it's like they're like fighting over it so like, oh i got it first and uh, the lamb is in the middle and it's dragged like uh, this letter is dragging it in a sense musalla musalla it's exciting huh? now we'll get to it in more details with many examples uh, in another lesson if i don't uh, please remind me anyhow uh, moving on uh, 14 عشر حرف النون ن ن ني نو ن ني نو ن نار نساء نور كنز كنز نار is fire نساء is women نور is light كنز is treasure moving to uh, scene 15 خمسة عشر حرف السين س س س س س س س س س س س س س س س س س س س Put them in lines. Sibaq is race. Uh, as in like, you know, two horses racing, not the other race. Uh, you know, the race where, you know, two horses racing or two cars racing. Sibaq. Sultan. Sultan is the same one that like worldwide people know, like the Sultan, you know. Uh, but the original meaning is authority. Now, Sultan is authority, uh, argument, proof, like if you have like an authority in, in an argument, you have a Sultan. Or say if you have proof, you have Sultan, like an authority. Like if you have a letter from the dean of the school and you're giving it to your teacher or something like that, and you're like, this is, it's proof that, you know, you have like some sort of power because of that letter. So it's called a, a Sultan. And that's what God is asking in the Quran. Allahum min Sultan. Do they have like a Sultan? Anyhow, Asma. 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 Asma is names. Many names. Like, the, I don't know if there's names like that. This one. Names. That's Asma. Moving to 16. Sitta Ashar. حرف العين ع ع ع see here it's ع ع عي عو عالم عيد 
عيون يعمل 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 عالم عيد عيون يعمل and we're getting uh, now the meaning عالم is world so when you say عالمنا it's like our world عالم and then we say the عالم عالم الجن so this is the world of jinn and jinn al-jinn or jinn al-jinn is uh, another species that we that you know most uh, I think all Muslims believe in yes all Muslims believe in and um, I think Christians uh, I'm not sure about the Jews if they believe in them because they don't believe in the afterlife but uh, like the Native Americans they, they believe in spirits and the Americans, uh, the European Americans go with like ghosts, but they think they're humans before. But the Native Americans probably, uh, you find them in many cultures, but they have their own world. So it's like a realm. You can say like the realm. Alam al jinn. And then the, the other one is Alam al ins. Al ins is the the humans. So you have Alam al Jinn and you have Alam al Ins. Or you can have Alam al Hayawan. The world of animals. You know? Anyhow. Eid. Eid, as we said in another uh, video, uh, is a celebration or, you know, festival, holiday. Eid. Uyun is eyes. Say we, we we had before Ain, if you remember Ain. Oh, let's stretch it because you might you can, yeah stretch it a little bit stretch stretch stretch. <laughs> so yeah, Ain is one eye. Uyun is eyes. And I don't want to get into the grammars. Uh, We'll get to it in another letter, but when you say two eyes, there's another one for it. Uh, let's just uh, fighting myself not to do it. I right, let, let's do it, and uh, we'll end with it. And in the next video, we'll go to the 17 to number 17. Ainan Ainan is two eyes, so you have Ain, stretch it again. Ain is uh, one eye. Ainan, let's put it the other way. Ainan is two eyes. Are you on that one? There is many eyes, more than two. So Ain is one eye. Ainan is two eyes. Ayun is uh, <clears throat> many eyes. Uh, I'm not sure if you appreciate the grammar, <laughs> but uh, you know. It, I think it's good to have like a little bit of an introduction without like going into details. Now we're gonna go to number seventeen. Saba Ashar. Saba Ashar. Harf al fa. 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 Fi. Fu. Fa. Fi. Fu. Fa. And we have four words. Again, as usual. Ugh, all right. فتح فتح فقه فقه رفوف رفوف حفرة oh, I should add that one yeah حفرة 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 Fataha uh, is he opened. It's opened, open in the uh, opened. So it's like open in the past tense. Opened. Fataha. So it's like he opened the past. Fiqh. Fiqh is used today uh, to mean Islamic law, as in Sharia. Uh, but uh, it, it means understanding. So when you say faqaha, like this one, faqaha. You add that those ones. Fa means he understood, and that's in the 
in the proper Arabic language, the fusha. Fiqh is the understanding. The understanding. So when you say fiqh, fiqh al hadith, it means the understanding of the hadith. The hadith, uh, hadith originally means, uh, could mean many things, uh, but uh, hadith could mean new. Hadith could mean new. It also could mean hadith could also mean uh, 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 speech. And uh, in Islam, like in the knowledge knowledges or sciences of Islam, hadith refers to the sayings of the Prophet. So the speech of the Prophet. Right? So, yeah. Fiqh al-Hadith is the understanding of the hadith. So, Fiqh al-Hadith. Understanding the hadith. Rufuf is uh, shelves. Rufuf, shelves. Hufra. Hufra is hole. Like, you know, you dig a hole, you dig a hufra. Hufra. Moving to number 18. Harf as-sad. Thamaniya ashar. Harf as-sad. Sa. Sa. Si. Su. Saut. Siyam. Asil. Sura. Yuslih. Yuslih. Saut is sound. Could also mean voice, but literally it is sound. So you say Saut al qitar. You say Saut al qitar. The sound of the train. Or sound the train. Uh, this uh, we'll get to grammar later, but Saut al qitar. The sound of the train. Siyam. Siyam is fasting. And you can put in a sentence like Siyam Ramadan. Ramadan is uh, a month in Arabic. And uh, maybe we'll make a lesson uh, of the months. Uh, Ramadan is uh, a month in the Arabic calendar. Or the Islamic calendar, I should say. The Islamic calendar. Where, uh, you know... Muslims fast, so you say Siyam Ramadan, meaning the fasting of Ramadan, or fasting Ramadan. Siyam, like fasting. Asil, Asil is original, it could also mean normal, uh, noble, sorry. So, original, noble, yeah, original, noble. Uh, anyhow. Surah. Surah is image. Uh, image, yeah. When you say surati, like my image. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Even picture, like we use it for picture, but it's the same thing. Like you say, oh, the image. And you mean the picture, right? It's the same. Surah. Image. Yuslih. Yuslih is he fix. He, 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 he fix, or he's fixing. Yuslih. Huwa yuslih. Huwa yuslih. Huwa yuslih. He is fixing. And if you want people to, re to realize that, that there's a sukun, in case uh, they're not used to seeing the letter, or depends on the cases. Like as I said, like in normal books, you usually don't see the, the moves, the harakat. But now we're learning them, so we're adding them. But usually you'll see the word like this. Yuslih. Huwa yuslih. But uh, yeah, this is just in case that the people don't want you to misunderstand. Like I guess if you're sending a letter to someone who uh, whose Arabic is not like great, you add those things. And, yeah, just to make sure you understand what I mean. Anyhow. Uh, 19 is uh, harf. 19. Tis'a tis ashar. تسعة عشر حرف القاف ق ق ق ق قراءة قراءة قرآن فقه فقه 
fiqh. And as we see before, like fiqh. Qara'a is he read. So it's in the past tense. Qara'a, he read. Qira'a is the, the, the reading, like the noun of the reading, like the when you say the reading, like reading. So you say Uhib. So you wouldn't say Uhibbu Akra. I love uh, and I read. Like you say Uhibbu Qira. Uhib. Uhib. Uhib means uh, I love. Al means the. Qira. Uhibbu Qira. I like. Uh, I love reading. I love reading. You know, reading. Like it. It's, uh, Al-Masdar, I think. Now, we'll get to that in the grammar. But for now, easy Arabic. Just uh, understanding the moves. Quran. Quran. Now, the Quran is the book uh, of Islam. Uh, but it, it also has, like, a linguistic meaning. Like, be, maybe, like, before the Quran was around, it would, it would mean the, the written letter. Like the things that you read, <clears throat> right? Fiqh, fiqh, fiqh. As a, as we said before, is the understanding. So, yeah, the understanding of like the understanding. Ishreen. Now oh, we got eight letters to go. Ra. Ishreen twenty. Harf ra. 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 Ri. Ru Darasa Darasa Tarikh Tarikh Torok Torok If you add that one so you, you realize what's going on that it's there too Torok Torok Ard 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 So Darasa again it's in the past <coughs> So he studied. He studied. Tarikh is history. History. Tarikh. Turuk is ways. Ways. Turuk. Ard is land. Ard is land. Moving to number 21. Sha. Sha, she, shu, sha, she, shu, shakir, shita, shuhud, yash rab, yash rab, shakir, shita, shuhud, yash rab. Shakir is thankful. Like when you say, huwa shakir. Huwa Shakir. Huwa Shakir. Meaning, he is Huwa Shakir. He is thankful. Shita. Shita is winter. Shuhud. Shuhud. Shuhud is uh, witnesses. Like more than one. Like when you witness something. When you go to a trial, like where are the witnesses? Uh, like that that's shuhud. Aina shuhud. Aina al the shu hood. Where are the see I'll color it red. I'll color the the red. Or black, sorry. <laughs> this will be Green. Aina, where is Al Shuhud? Where are the witnesses? Shuhud. Yashrab is he drinks. Yashrab, he drinks. Number 22. Harf at ta. 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 T. Two Taraka Tilk Toot Met Jar Met Jar 
Taraka is he left. And we could add those just in case. Taraka, he left in the past. Like it happened already. Tilk, it's like you're saying that one. And it's in the feminine. So you use it for some, and you, you, we'll get to that later, like the male, female, uh, feminine, masculine uh, distinction. Uh, tilk is that one. Like you, you're pointing out to something like that, that one, like that one. Tilk. Toot is berries. Metjar is store. You know, the store where you go and shop at. So it has to do with tijara, which is a business. Tijara. So Matjar is like the place of business. Tijara is business. Anyhow, moving on to Harf Atha. Tha. Tha. Thi. Thu. Hadatha. Thimar. Thulth. Thulth. Hadatha means it happened. And we can add those. Ha. Da tha hada tha meaning happened and already happened past thimar is fruits thimar is fruits thuluth is third and you can see it, it's relating to thalatha like that thalatha wa ishirin thuluth third thalatha is written like this thalatha and we might get a lesson where we do the numbers, inshallah. Anyways, 24. Arba'a wa ishirin. Harf al kha. 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 Khi. Khu. Makhbaz. Kha lid. Khalid Khiyana Khudud Makhbaz is the place where they make bread, like the bakery. So you remember Khubz? Khubz is a uh, Khubz. Khubz is a uh, bread. Makhbaz is where they make the bread. Khalid is immortal. Khiyana is betrayal. Khudud is a, a face cheeks. And we're moving to number 25. Khamsa wa ishirin. Five and twenty. Harf al The. 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 Thu. And we have words here. Mudh uh, nib. ذهاب ذئب ذباب So مذنب is guilty and it comes from the root ذنب which is uh, offense, sin, misdeed, fault So مذنب is guilty like when you say he is guilty you say no, no, let's see that. I don't want to take the line so, when you say he is guilty, huwa mudnib. He is guilty. Like he did it. Huwa mudnib. Dahaba is he went. Dahaba. So you say, Dahaba ila al madrasa. He went. As in the past tense, ذَهَابَ ذَهَابَ إِلَى الْمَدْرَسَ إِلَى is two. Maybe you can put it up here. No, better. So, إِلَى is two. ذَهَابَ إِلَى الْمَدْرَسَ Madrasa is the school. The AL here is the. The. So, ذهب إلى المدرسة. So, he went in the past. ذهب إلى المدرسة. 
a little bit of grammar. Da -da -da -da. Anyhow, moving on. Thib, thib is wolf. Thib, thib. Thubab, thubab. Thubab is fly, like fruit flies. Thubab. Moving on to number 26. 6 and 20. Sitta wa ashirin. Harf al-dad. Which, uh, you know, they, they call the Arabic language the language of Dad because of this letter. And the assumption is uh, we're the only ones that have it. Like the Arabic language is the only one that has this letter. Uh, if you know any other language that has it, please let me know because that would be like an interesting find. Like, no, some other language has it. And the letter Da, as we have previously, uh, you know, encountered. And here. Da, da, di, du, da, di, du, yadrib, daraba. Yeah, that one. Oi, it's English. Yadrib, daraba, bagada, mawdu'a, duha. Yadrib is he is hitting or he is giving an example because darb or daraba could mean he hit like you know or he gave an example or an example like uh, darb darb means either example or uh, uh, hitting like uh, you know hitting the punch. Baghada is he hated the past. So he hated. Mawdu'a can mean subject or it could mean placed from wada. Wada. Wada could mean placed. This is the root of that word and uh, I should not get ahead of myself with roots. But we'll get in a lesson. We'll get to roots. I think it'll be exciting. The roots of the words and how to make words, and how you can like get the definition from the word itself based on its root. If you understood the root, you can like make your own words. So maudu is either subject or placement. Like aina uh, al kitab Where is the book uh, placed? Or you can say, uh, where is the book placed? Aina, Aina al kitab, Where the book is placed. Or you could say, which is uh, uh, the subject one, Ma mawdu'a al kitab, as in a question. Ma is what, or what is? So you're saying, what is the subject the book so what is the subject of the book ma mawdu'a subject al kitab and you probably guessed yes it's right there and that one it's right there ma mawdu'a al kitab so as i said like if you open like a a regular book like a newspaper or something you might not see those like it would be without them but in certain situations they'll put it because the it, they want the reader not to get confused with another word so they'll put it but as you advance in Arabic you uh, will not need them because you, you'll know that the word is there and when we get to the Shadda I'll show you English words that people might confuse because they don't have the the the, the shed on top which was interesting because i was talking to one of my friends and he's like oh the, the english has them but they don't put them on top of the word and he gave me the example of content and uh, content they look the same but they we'll get to it we'll get to it we're getting ahead of ourselves anyhow duha 
Duha. Duha is a time of day and it's uh, between morning and afternoon. So sabah, duha, afternoon. I, uh, yeah. Anyhow. 27. Harf of va. So uh, this is very common and even like, you know, Arab children uh, or, you know, common like people who are who aren't like well read, they confuse this letter with this letter. But this one is uh, da, da, so it comes from a different place. This one is va, va, da, va. And uh, inshallah, hopefully, God willing, I will make a video about each letter and where does it come from, from the throat or from the tongue or from the nose and how you can practice saying it. Da, uh, va, 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 vi, vu, muzlim, vahara, va, ha, ra, vahara, nadif, nadif, lafdun, lafthu, lafdu, Zulm, Zulm. So, Mazlum is the oppressed. So, when you say Hua, Hua, Mazlum, Mazlum, Hua Mazlum means he is oppressed. Right? Zulm, the one here, is uh, oppression. Zulm. Mazlum is the oppressed. Vahara means it appeared. Vahara in the past, like it appeared in the past. Where he appeared in the past. No, he appeared in the past. Nadif. Nadif is clean. Lafdh. 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 Lafdhu, dhu, lafdhu. Lafdhu is a, it could mean an expression, but literally it, it means a, 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 a exertion, like you know, you uh, exert it from your mouth in a sense, or uh, what was the other word I took a note of? Exertion, uh, discharge, yeah, discharge. So when you express a word, uh, you kind of you're discharging it from your mouth. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it, it had, sometimes it's used negatively, of course. You know, like Mada like what is exerting from your mouth? You know, and but laf could mean expression, a way of saying something, a way of expressing it. Laf, how you say it with your tongue, and uh, literally it means exert or discharge. When you discharge something from something else, so the words are coming out of your mouth. You're doing laugh to them. It's coming from your mouth. Harf al ghin and I believe this is our last letter. Huh, strange, like uh, we haven't uh, finished. We usually run out of time, but we have time. Ra or ra ra. Ri, Ru, Maghrib, Maghrib, Ghalib, Ghalib, Rina, Rina, Farug, 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 or Farug, Farug is like a uh, 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 is done with like it, it's done like or it's empty it's not there anymore and this is something you, you get to realize that you know when you learn another language it's uh, you're learning a way of thinking as well like in Arabic we would say uh, you know when we end speech we say khalas and khalas it's like you know saved or it could also means like uh, the end or ending that's it, like if finished, right? Khalas, it's finished. 
and it would be strange in English when two people are talking and one of them goes like, it's finished. It's like, it might sound uh, negative, but in Arabic it doesn't. Like when someone says it's finished, meaning like, yes, uh, I understand, or uh, yes, we spoke about this enough, that kind of thing. And it's not impolite, it's just normal. So yeah, khalas, khalas, meaning, yeah, it's finished, it's finished. Like, I understand everything is going well. We don't need to talk about this anymore, in a sense, when you say that. Uh, anyways, going to our words. Maghrib. Maghrib is sunset. Or it can mean the west, like where the sun sets. Like uh, in Arabic, Al-Maghrib is Morocco. And uh, Morocco has a different origin than Al-Maghrib. So the Arabs call it Al-Maghrib. And we call it our west, like basically it's where the sun sets for us in Morocco. But the word Morocco has a Greek uh, origin or something, like it's not related to that. And that, that's because of history and, you know, people call different lands by different names. But for us Arabs, uh, Morocco is not Morocco. Morocco is Al-Maghrib, the place where the sun sets, the west of us, right? Ghalib. Ghalib is victorious or victor. Yeah, Ghalib is victor. As in he, he, he won, right? Ghina is singing. Ghina is like singing. Farugha is uh, emptied or finished with. Farugha. And uh, yeah. We might do, we have a minute, so we'll do a little bit of ground. Faragat. Faragat. As-salah. So, the prayer, the, here, al, the prayer finished. And you might notice that there's something new for us, uh, the, this green one, uh, the ta at the end. And this is because it's feminine. Like, the prayer is feminine. So, you say, faragat. Faragat. Fa. Ra. Gat. Assalah. The prayer has finished. And uh, we have finished this lesson. So, ma'as salama. With peace. With safety.